Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com, and today we're taking a look at Cygenomod 10.1 M2 ROM for your Galaxy S3 US variant. So every US variant that includes Metro, PCS, uh, Cricket, T-Mobile, US Seller, Sprint, Verizon, every uh, US carrier will work with this. i9-300 will not work with this. Just keep that in mind. It's not supported yet. They haven't released it. Um, but for everyone else, all the US variants, this will work, which is kind of surprising that they uh, include international version. That's kind of a little bit weird, but hey, whatever. Um, so you're on 4.2.2 right there, saying so the latest version. They actually just released this a couple days ago, so not that far ago. <clears throat> so it's pretty brand new. Um, as you can see, everything is still clean and sleek and has the same features, just it's running on 4.2. And you still get the you know your little notifications and quick settings just like usual. And uh, one thing I did notice, at least with Cygenomod, is that when your data is off, you have an X right there. So that's one thing I noticed on this version. I don't know if they had on the earlier versions, but this one it has. Could have been there before. Um, but when we enter the lock screen, if you didn't notice that we have shortcuts here still, so we got the camera, mail. You can add more right here and here if you want, and you have unlock of course. Uh, you still have Google now. If we go and tap on that, it won't work just because my data is not working or my Wi-Fi and data is turned off um, for the time being. Let's go into settings. And here we can go into, let's go into launcher for now. For the heck of it, right? <laughs> um, let's go to home screen. You can change your grid size, which is awesome. So you can, let's go to, actually go to five. So you can actually fit five icons on your home screen. Um, let's go into home screen. So as you can see, the clock has actually moved a little bit. And we'll go to the scrolling in a little bit. We'll show you that in a little bit. But as you can see, you have to re adjust this right now. Um, and then make it a little bit bigger. And now it's there. So you know it's 5 just by knowing that the um, clock did move. And at the bottom, when you go into settings, you can actually add up more pages. You can add up to, I believe, 5 pages for your dock. I just added 2 for now and showing you that you can add more icons, which is nice. I like that. Nice feature just to have. Um, you can even fit more icons if you have a lot of apps on your home screen and you want to keep it on one page if you want. A lot easier to scroll through your dock. <clears throat> uh, lock screen, we just talked about that. Um, slider shortcuts, so this is where you add more apps. You can add two more, like I mentioned earlier. And then it doesn't necessarily have to be applications. It can be, like I said, applications. It can be bookmarks, contacts, direct dial, settings, you know, settings shortcuts, Gmail label. So just about anything you want, you can have it on there. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, just apps in general. So let's go and cancel that and back out of there. Uh, you can change your button actions, which is nice. So you can uh, long press the home button and change it to the next song or you know a flashlight or anything like that. Any of those type of toggles, which is nice. So you know you can just hold down the back button and it'll bring you to the next song if you're playing a uh, song in your um, music player. And you have other things to do there, but we're not gonna go through everything. That would take a very very long time. Themes you can add. Um, actually I tried out one theme, but it didn't work out too well. It was a red one, but the only thing that it did theme was the Wi-Fi and the little um battery and data toggle up there so I didn't actually keep it, I actually deleted it but you can get more themes from the um, Google Play Store. All I did was search Cygenomod themes and I got themes from there but it didn't, obviously didn't work um, through everything, it apps didn't work um, only the status bar basically, those status bar icons worked. Um, let's go to system right here and let's go into status bar um, you can change a lot of things, I know you can expand it, uh, brightness control so you can change it, the brightness should work Yes, it did work. So as you can see, that it went dimmer. Let's go ahead and raise it, and now it's there. So I like that feature. That's a very useful feature. It's uh, actually going constantly into um, brightness. But for my case, I always leave it on auto um, most of the time. But you can do that still, st uh, still if you want, which is nice. Nice, nice feature. Um, let's go back to setting or system. Sorry about that. Um, for my case, it comes default notification on and battery light on. So when you're charging, you get a little notification that's red. You know, when it's charging, or you have a notification for whatever reason. So I like having that. That's a nice feature. You can actually change your hardware keys, which I kind of feel it's useful, kind of not. Um, it depends. So you, if you enable custom actions, you can change it to you know, home key. What it what happens? Um, your menu that uh, menu key. Um, it actually opens and closes the menu. Of course, that's what the menu key you know the symbol stands for. But you can change it to in-app search, no action, no search assist. So let's actually uh, change it to voice search. It probably won't work. Just because, yeah, it didn't work. Just because my data's off. So you can see it, didn't, it did not work. But you can change them, and I'm going to have to change that back. <laughs> I'm really confused about that. But you can you get the idea. You can change the little option keys at the bottom right there. 
Um, but that's just a basic look at Sygenomad M2 10.1 RAM running on 4.2.2, the latest version of Android Jelly Bean for your Galaxy S3 all US variants. Link down below to the RAM. And if you did enjoy this quick, quick RAM review for your Galaxy S3 device, please do hit that like button in the bottom left hand corner. And please do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel down there in the bottom left hand corner as well. Because I do upload about five, five, four to five videos per week all related to Android and I read it to Galaxy S3, Galaxy Nexus, Nexus 4, many more devices to come. Um, especially the summer when the Galaxy S4 comes out or the spring, yes. <laughs> um, but and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. All links down below and look for the RAM down below like I mentioned earlier too. Um, so buddy guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and hopefully you enjoyed this RAM review and check out the RAM. Thanks. Peace.